Ladies and gentlemen, guess you don't know. We don't have any plan to retire. If you're happy, make some noise! Aside being a really terrible dancer and looking this calm on his wedding day, he's one of the goofiest groom you would ever see. <laughs> and what is most shocking is that he knew he was getting married today some five years back and has planned towards this wedding to the last single detail i mean even without her knowing and it turned out to be picture perfect what is most interesting is that they only dated each other and now they are marrying each other i was making plans sourcing for the vendors booking the caterers even when i've never asked her to I've never told her if she will marry me. I was definitely I had the assurance that when I asked her, she was going to say yes. Maybe you're watching a true love story, and I was there to witness every single bit of it. Because I stay in Abuja, and the wedding was taking place in Benin, I had to travel. And most times, it's not really a very smooth ride. And with the distance, you end up really, really tired. Oh, I yeah, am the married man. <laughs> oh, I yeah, am the married man. You see that person right there? That's the bride. And this was the first time I was seeing her. I had not settled in and we had errands to run. Hey, hey, hey. I didn't call you before. I did I call you. I'm strong to sass. Yeah. Yeah, he's the best man. The, the best man. Who I'm tired. I'm tired. This boy is stressing. <laughs> stressing me. She lay here with Armstrong I'm strong for sass. The yes, only one I'm strong for sass. I beg now watch. Time for YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> Why is she bad? Why are you tired? Why well, I'm tired? Yes. I've been so busy Say hi. Yesterday. Say hi. 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 The chief rice maid had seen her before and she was the groom's best friend way back in school. Does that even make sense? Okay, let's talk about the groom. He was a level higher than I in school and he started off as our urgent today church decorator and somehow in a really short time he evolved and grew and became one of the best in campus. That was where the brand Love What Concept was born. So randomly in 2019, because we served together, I asked him a day before his personal parade, guy, when did they marry? And he said, nah, May 2023. Literally, I laughed because I knew the kind of wedding he wanted. And as at that time, Sapa had us on chokehold. I needed to have an interview with him on his wedding day, but it was difficult. What do you mean to say? <laughs> I'm talking. Serious now. Firstly, because he was always joking and there was too much disturbance. What's up with the conclusion interview? Now let me open him, John. See what they do for you now. They do recording. Do what it means to be hungry. I'm hungry. Hi. Is she cooking? Where is Kelly? Yes, I'm doing video. <laughs> the wedding eve, the plan was to come in, settle in, and then go for the bachelor's party where there will be a lot of alcohol. But guess what? Body road! Body road! It was the shortest eve I've ever been to. In a glimpse, we were, we were back to the reception venue and this was where he was catching his own phone. Do all those wait, tomorrow, eh? Uh, you know the dance. You know the dance, I go to church today. Let me joke, you know? You know dance. What did they do so? What did they do so? See, tomorrow. I was literally really tired from the trip, so I really wanted to be a good friend. But unfortunately, I did go sleep. Did they walk? Did they walk for some misa? I did go sleep. Did they walk for some misa? Did they walk for some misa? Yes. Did they walk for misa? One time, Derek was a forty-two person who ever knew. I met him on the first day in my hostel, block four room two actually. Uh the first time he came, actually, I didn't talk to him, but with time. He messaged me on Facebook and we started talking, all that. He invited me to his church, Christ Embassy, then in school. I did attend the program, actually. I went home, so I told him I'll make it up to him. 2017, that was when I was in my final year, back then in uni. She was a roommate to two of my best friends, Paris and Ella. So normally I visit them. Then I think the visit became frequent. No, it wasn't frequent. So she wouldn't think I was coming up because of her. Because normally, even when she wasn't a roommate, I go to the room almost, I think, evening. That was visiting hour for the ladies. So that day I saw her. She's always down of her bunk, fully clothed. She doesn't come out. So I was wondering, oh, come on, just come and spend like sometimes five hours, four hours, as the case may be. And she wouldn't even come outside. But she's there. So then we start conversation thinking maybe she would, she would just like support or probably maybe say something. 
But yeah, she doesn't say anything at all. All the while, I'm thinking, who is this girl that has this paparazzi on? Who is this person that we are making so much preparations just to see her walk down the aisle? I've seen a few pictures of her, but they were mostly throwbacks from Facebook. Then maybe the pre-wedding photo and from far, like we saw her the first time. But later, I understood why he was going all the way out. I don't say a word, but still you take my breath and steal the things I know. There you go, saving me from out of the crowd. I'm on fire, normally coming. Yes, so I saw a picture on Facebook. I liked the picture anyway. I think that was, the picture was even more clearer than the ones I've been seeing other people before. Now that bunch, they bunch, they always cover herself. Then he sent me his number, started shouting on WhatsApp. From there, we became friends. I think when my best friend got to know about it, they were angry at first. Ah, all we've been talking to her without us. You didn't let us know. I had to explain to them, oh, okay, there's nothing going on. Though maybe there will be something going on later on in the future. But for the now, it's just like this. After those months, many months passed. I told him, I'm not ready yet. Then after my graduation, <laughs> because I don't want to be in a relationship, but though I liked him anyway. And that's why we continued until we graduated, because I've always had the conviction not to date while in school, until after we graduated. So I don't know how to toast anyway. <laughs> so officially, after my graduation, that same day, November 3rd, 2017, he asked me out in the... <laughs> in their church building. That's Christ Embassy. <laughs> we had a all their service. After our graduation, we went together. We had night talk. We normally do night talk sometimes from our hostel to maybe any of those faculties around, just discuss and come back. So it was then she asked me, like, because the, it, looks, it was looking like the relationship had started, but there was no formal toasting or probably gisting. Though he was shy, he was a shy person, but I know he won't say it. So I I told him he must. Because if he did not say it, he will be dating himself. So I had no choice. I said it anyway, I had guys. I never had plans of trust anybody. So once I was just doing like this, doing like this, doing like this, until relationship will just start. He just said it, oh, will you be my girlfriend? So like that. I said yes. best memories we have so many memories okay i will cherish the time we walk down the school hostel road in the evening cool evening we just walk around no one no can't be one i think okay the engagement was one of our best moments while we're taking our photo shoots yes i think then also back then in our nyc like i said it's no one i don't think i'll pick one but if i want to pick anyone for peace to rain i'll pick this day which is May 21st, our reception day. I've always had plans of getting married that's going to be May, May 28th, 2023. That was the initial plan before. So I've already had that in mind. Even she didn't actually, she was not actually aware of it. So being a, an event person, while that was going on in my head, I was making plans, sourcing for the vendors, booking the caterers, even when I've never asked her to. I've never told her if she will marry me. I was definitely I had the assurance that when I asked her, she was going to say yes. So I already had the whole in mind. As a matter of fact, in my head, I was done with the entire wedding plan. I was just waiting for the big day. This would really be an ample time if you like gist and you like stories to hit the subscribe button while we continue. I want to be in your life until the night is over. I want to hold you so tight, so tight, so coming over. It's been a hell of a ride for every single moment. You were there by my side. Found out the truth. I met you. I've already imagined that whole moment that's gonna go like this. I will kneel down, I will say this, I will say this, I will say this. I tried to kiss her, but she brought her face down. Most people notice that thing. So when it was January 22nd, it was a bad day. I had assistance of friends that helped me decide her to the venue for the proposed site. And it was done in a brief grand style. But nevertheless, it was that night I told her about the wedding plans. 
that has been on my head for a very long time. She was angry at first though. She said, oh, it's business. She didn't tell me. And there was no way I was going to tell her. How do you mean to tell her that the wedding is 20, May 28th when I've never asked her out for marriage yet? But your ring is shiny. That's a uh, What do we need now? What did you do? Huh? What did you do? We have to. Most of, you know, it's more to bring the money I think come. My job is to carry, my job is to snap. Oh, wow. What's this? Oh, wow. Wow, wow. It was the wedding morning and I woke up late already. I woke up to meet things going into perfect shape in details. What are you doing? I don't feel it! That's why how they do. I did video. I did content. I did video. Give me now! One of the things that struck me the most was how much time he took with his wife while everybody was still outside they took the perfect picture they wanted without any disturbance as one of the agbada men i was here to shout we are ready oh, i found that right we for are ready we are to go up this we are ready we are ready we Before now, I'd never been to a wedding when I ate more than once. But this one, this was different. It has been a beautiful experience. And this is me saying, happy married life, Kelly and Winnie. Alright, I hope you subscribe. Catch ya.